Welcome to City 17. You have chosen, or been chosen, to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here, in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefit. Budapest, the Big Easy, Baby Paprika on the Rocks. In December of 2019, before the world was consumed by plague, I had the privilege of spending my Christmas vacation in this historic city. I walked across the famous chain bridge more times than I could count, and was overly impressed with my camera abilities. This is actually a pretty nice shot, I'm a genius. Okay Mark, don't get too excited, it's not that great. Then I took in some amazing architecture, hunted vampires in the mists of Buddha Castle, and when the air raid sirens went off, I took shelter in Vault 51 to wait out World War III. I emerged in the ruins of an indescribable post-apocalyptic society, a perverted reflection of civilization constructed of only what could be scavenged from the wastelands beyond. It later turned out this wasn't the post-apocalypse, but a so-called ruin bar, Either way, it was really cool. But while my trip to Budapest was absolutely incredible, I hadn't planned on making one of my famous vlogs about it. This was, after all, supposed to be a vacation. Although ever the professional, I still found the time to check in on how things are going back at the Temple Institute. But when conducting my reconnaissance of Budapest, I learned of something. Something I knew I had to do. Something so shocking, so unbelievable, it would require as much photographic evidence as I could muster. And so, on a cold December morning, a Soviet UAZ-469 light utility vehicle picked me up from my hotel. It had no seatbelt, and its turning signal sounded like the thing was about to explode. But it sped us further and further into the Hungarian countryside. As the touristy parts of Budapest faded into the distance, this is where I started getting a little nervous. I ended up in a remote military airfield, positive that my travel companion and I were about to be murdered and left in a ditch. But then, in the distance, I saw it. The object that had haunted both my dreams and waking moments ever since I learned of it. I am not ashamed to admit that when I saw a fully operational Hungarian T-72 main battle tank waiting for me, I was overcome with an intense feeling of panic. Mark, I thought, this time you have finally gone too far. You should have stuck to the usual tourist things, visited a spa or gone on a ferris wheel or something. But it was too late, and thank God, because what was to follow would be the best hour of my life. According to some, the purpose of existence is to find your soulmate, a mirror reflecting back to you your dreams, desires, flaws, and strengths, something to help you become the best version of yourself. As it turns out, my soulmate is a T-72 in Hungary. While our relationship was brief, I left with a sense of clarity that I'd never felt before, and an invitation to tour an enormous collection of private military equipment. Like all great encounters that occur on the outskirts of Budapest, 
Mine included a few moments I swore never to speak of in public and some footage immediately deleted from my camera. They say travel changes you, but they never specify on whether it's for the better. Since my brief stint as a tank commander in the Warsaw Pact, I have definitely become more insufferable, bringing up the fact that I drove a tank at the slightest provocation and usually to complete strangers who don't care. But goddammit, I drove a tank and it was awesome!